welcome to our comparison video on switching from 235 85ths R16 to 245 75ths R16. The diameter difference between these tire sizes is 4%, which exceeds the acceptable 3% range. This means the interchange is not recommended without making necessary adaptations. You may need to consider modifications to your vehicle's suspension or alignment to accommodate this change. Switching to the 245 75ths reduces the diameter by 1.26 inches, which in turn lowers the vehicle's ground clearance. This decrease could make your vehicle more susceptible to scraping on obstacles and rough roads, although it might improve handling by lowering the center of gravity slightly. The 245 75ths is 0.39 inches wider than the 235 85ths, increasing the width from 9.25 inches to 9.65 inches. This wider profile could potentially provide better traction and stability, especially during cornering. However, it may also increase rolling resistance slightly. Switching to the 245 75ths decreases the sidewall height by 0.63 inches. The smaller sidewall height could result in a firmer ride and less impact absorption compared to the larger sidewall of the 235 85ths. This might be noticeable on rougher roads or off-road conditions. With the smaller 245 75ths tires, the speedometer will read slightly higher than the actual speed. For example, at a speedometer reading of 20 mph, the actual speed will be 19.21 mph. Based on our observation, switching to 245 75ths offers benefits such as potentially improved handling and stability due to a lower center of gravity and increased width. The wider tread may provide better traction, especially in dry conditions. However, the trade-offs include a significant reduction in ground clearance, which could be problematic for off-road use. The firmer ride due to the shorter sidewall height might impact comfort, especially on rough terrain. The 4% difference in diameter is beyond the recommended range, which could affect vehicle performance and potentially cause issues with the vehicle systems. Additionally, the wider tires might lead to slightly reduced fuel efficiency due to increased rolling resistance.